Hey guys, it's Josh Davis, CPT. As we continue our Getting Started series, can you guess one of the most valuable yet neglected aspects of health and fitness? If your guess was stretching, then you hit the nail on the head. Stretching is something we cannot ignore, so let's dive in. Now we all know what stretching is, but did you know there are actually two different types? Static and dynamic. Dynamic is commonly referred to as active stretching. This is the use of active movements to stretch out muscles and get them warmed up with blood flow. Active stretching usually engages multiple muscle groups and joints all at the same time. These types of stretches are more oriented towards sports and athletes. Some examples would be butt kicks, arm swings, or uh, leg swings or arm circles. Static stretching, on the other hand, is defined as extending your muscles to the end of their range of motion. This type of stretching is designed to lengthen your muscles, and they're typically done in long, motionless holds for 30 seconds or longer. For beginners, I would highly recommend sticking with static stretches until you feel comfortable with your range of motion. Now, it's very important to stretch all aspects of our body, but I want to focus on three tight issues that I see on a regular basis. Now, our society is continually sliding towards less movement and more sitting, and I myself am guilty as this. Working in IT and playing video games, I'll spend anywhere from six to 10 hours sitting on my butt on an average day. Without consistent exercise, focusing on stretching, uh, this much sitting can lead to serious health problems. Now, sitting in a chair with our knees bent day after day, it shortens the length of our hamstrings and hip flexors. When sitting, our hips are tightened and this can lead to loidosis, which is the increased inner curvature of the spine. On the flip side, the hamstrings are shortened, it will start pulling on your lumbar spine, taking the natural curve out of it. Many clients I've worked with who are experiencing lower back pain was due to tight hamstrings. Once we were able to increase their flexibility, the issues basically just went away. The other most important muscle group to stretch is our pectoral or chest muscles. These attach to our scapulas or shoulder blade, blades, and as our pecs get tight, our shoulders will internally rotate. And in severe cases, this can cause kyphosis or a hunchback. Most commonly, tight pecs can be linked to a lot of neck and shoulder pain, and also linked to a lot of headaches. Before we get into stretches, I wanna talk quickly about ballistic stretching. Now, for those who aren't familiar, this type of stretching is essentially taking a static hold and adding a bounce to it. Now, this is extremely dangerous, you should not do it, and it drastically increases the risk of ripping or tearing something. So avoid that at all costs. Now let's take a look at some great stretches that we can do for our hip flexors, hamstrings, and pecs. As a bonus, I'll throw in a few of my favorite stretches for our other body parts too. So let's dive in. For our first of our three tight areas, we're gonna look at our hip flexors. Now to stretch out our hip flexor, I'm gonna show you two different ways. The first one is we're gonna get in a bent down position with our back knee down and our front knee at a 90 degree angle. At this point, you're gonna feel a little bit of pull right in here in your hip flexor, in your quad. But what I want you to do is lean forward really into that front leg. And then once you get to this part, you're gonna tilt your pelvis inwards. So you're gonna tilt your pelvis in almost like a small hump, but you're gonna tilt your pelvis in and hold it there. And you're really gonna feel the stretch on the hip flexor. You think I should take that hump part out? <laughs> now I wanna show you another variation of the hip flexor exercise that I really like. You can do this off of a table, off of your bed, anything that gets you high enough to stretch out your hip flexor. All you're gonna do is get on the flat surface have your front leg down that you wanna stretch. You're gonna lean back and just let it hang. Now your foot is gonna be your point of contact and this is going to dictate the tension that's on your hip flexor. So if your foot's out here and you don't feel any tension on your hip flexor, you can slowly move that foot back to feel some tension on here. And again, you can hold this for 15 to 30 seconds, uh, do about three rounds and then switch sides. For our hamstrings, one of the most common issues I see is people doing a rounded back while stretching out their hamstrings, looking something like this. While it's not necessarily wrong per se, what it does do is put a lot of tension and strain on your lower back and having a curved lower back really doesn't do anybody any favors. 
So from the stand-up position, what we want to focus on is shooting our butt back first and then bending at the knees to about a 120 degree angle. From this point, you can feel a lot of the tension solely on your hamstrings while keeping your lower back flat and happy. Like we said before, anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds with a little bit of rest in between for three rounds, you should be good to go. For our third stretch, we're gonna be focusing on our pecs, our pectoralis major and minor. Now this stretch is really easy and you can do it with just a wall. So you're gonna come up to a wall, the arm that you're gonna to wanna to stretch, you're gonna put it, start at a 90 degree angle and put it on the inside of the corner. From here, you're gonna rotate your body away from the wall. So you're gonna externally rotate your body. You're gonna feel the tension really pull on your uh, chest right here. And the great thing about this exercise is you can do it at three or multiple different angles. You can do it high, you can do it medium, and you can do it low. Same thing as we said before, three rounds, 15 to 30 seconds on each side. As an added bonus, I wanna show you my two absolutely favorite stretches of all times. One is for our neck and then the other is for our lats or our back muscles. So for our neck, we're gonna start palms down at your sides, face out, and you're simply gonna lean your right ear to your right shoulder. You just lean it down. You're gonna feel all the tension on the left side of your neck. Deep breath in, you exhale, and then you're gonna roll chin to chest to the other side. Just relax, reach as much for the floor as you can. You're gonna deep breath in, exhale, roll to the other side. Now do that for 10 rounds each side and your neck will thank you. Now for my second favorite stretch that focuses on our lats, we're gonna start off on the ground in a yoga pose called child's pose. And that's basically where you're on your knees, sitting back into your heels with your arms out in front. You're gonna reach your arm out to the side and put your opposite arm on top of that hand and then sit back into your heels. You're really gonna feel the stretch on your arm that's reaching across your body. So hold it here for another 15 to 30 seconds. And then you'll reach that arm to the side, hand on top, sit back into your heels, sit here for another 15 to 30 seconds, go back into the center, relax, repeat that process two to three times and you should be golden. Thanks for watching everybody. If you found the video helpful or have any questions, please leave a comment below. Have a joy-filled, blessed week, and we'll see you next time.